Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. A Lincoln man was charged with felony child abuse. A three-year-old boy suffered a serious head injury while in his care. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Katrina Spurl spoke to the little boy's dad and has more in our top story tonight. Katrina? Rada Megan, the father wants to share his son's story to raise awareness for his injuries and to share his progress to help others. He says it's been a long journey so far the last few weeks. Three-year-old Abel was much like other kids his age, but his young life took a turn for the worst. He was in a medically induced coma for several days. His brain had shifted. His parents didn't know if he would be able to see or use his arms. Yeah, initially, it was terrifying. It was, um, you, you always think that things like this don't, happened to you. Lincoln police charged this man, 24-year-old Alan K. Anderson, with felony child abuse. Court documents say the little boy suffered a serious head injury while in his care. Despite what had happened, three weeks later, Abel is doing things doctors didn't think he would be able to do. When you don't think that your child is going to do things that he used to do, and then you see them work harder than you've ever worked in your life and do things that, like I said, you don't expect. It, it, there, there really isn't, there's not a word that I can come up with that justifies the amount of joy I felt. Jim was told rehab could be anywhere from six weeks to six months, so he packed his bags and moved from Grand Island to Lincoln so he could be by Abel's side every day. It's tiring. Um, it may not seem like staying at a rehab place is exhausting, but it is, but when you see him smile and you hear his voice and you see what he does every day, that there's no way I'd leave. A GoFundMe page is set up for Abel's medical expenses. Jim posts pictures and videos every day of Abel's progress, recognizing how quickly life can change. His positive posts have turned into something he says is a lot bigger. I've had messages from people who um, have cancer that say that they watch the videos every day and it gives them hope. And, and it's, it's just become so much bigger than just my son now. So he's, cool. he's become something that people find hope in and something that, uh, that people can follow and feel good about. And today, Jim said Abel clapped for the first time. It's pretty amazing to hear how well he is doing. If you would like to visit the GoFundMe page, we have the link on our website. That's klknTV.com. Yes, and our thoughts go out to Abel as well for a speedy recovery. What a darling little boy and a good daddy, too. Yes. Thank you, Katrina, for the story. Turning now to weather, we had some.